Hello and welcome to Iron Palm Food for Thought. My name is Damien Fedorko and today I would like to share with you a method of conditioning called tree training. Basically what tree training is is an alternative method to hand conditioning. You don't need your bags, you don't need iron shot, uh, steel shot, or anything of that nature. First thing you're going to do is hug the tree. And what you're doing here is that your mind is focusing on the lagoon points of the hand. And you're visualizing that there's a laser that's coming through the tree. It's coming through the hand, through the tree, out the other side of the tree, through the other lagoon point of your left hand and out the hand. So you're here. You can meditate as long as you want. But you, you need to fire up your, your laugum points, basically is what, what this is all about. Uh, I'm standing in a high horse. If you want to go low, that's up to you. It's your call, whatever you want to do. So we're here, and we're meditating, trying to fire up our laugum points, visualizing that that laser is going through one hand through the tree, out the tree, and through the other hand. Once you feel that, and you feel the warmth in your hands, you begin to rake. And you can go around the tree, up and down, whatever you like. Okay, now the reason why I like to do the rake is because it is also an alternative method instead of doing spear, spear hand, spear finger. Okay, uh, it's, it's a little bit easier on the fingertips and you won't get arthritis. Because I've, in my opinion, that when you're doing spear hand on a bag or whatever, you're just, you're just uh, messing yourself up, messing your hands up, and you're going to get arthritis before you know it. So you really don't want to, to do spear finger. Raking is better. There's only so many soft spots on the body. And that's basically, you know, in the eyes and so on. And you should know that already in your training. So then, okay, after we get done with the raking... Then, we're going to do a form of, you've heard of 5-star, 10-star. Well, this is 2-star. And what's going to happen here is that you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? And the amount of repetitions, if you're new to this, I wouldn't do too many. Uh, think of your pain tolerance in the beginning, how much pain you can stand. You want to make sure that uh, you don't want to get yourself hurt. So then, okay, after the two star, then we're going to slap. Now, when I'm slapping, I'm trying to condense the slap. I'm not coming all the way back here and hitting. But when you're condensing the slap, you want it to you want to hit the tree as if you were coming all the way back and wailing on it. So it's it's a condensing uh, hit, okay? And as I'm doing this hitting my dantian is going clockwise. So I'm here. Okay, get the idea? Then after that, then we're going to work on 
Then we're going to work on knife hand, the knife edge. Make sure that when you hit the tree, you hit it in an, uh, hit it with the meaty part of your hand. Don't hit the bone. So again, I'm, my, da my Dantian rotation, I'm going clockwise and I'm condensing the strike. And we'll go to the other side, do the left hand. All right. Then after that, we're going to do the back hand. And before I forget, uh, you can work both hands, one hand, whatever you want to do. Uh, there was an old uh, grandmaster that always told me you always want to keep some of your internal energy in you like a checkbook. You don't want to waste it or abuse it. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. It's, it's up to you if you want to train both hands, condition both hands. That's entirely up to you. So, okay, backhand. In the back, it's flat. I'm not doing a back fist. I'm doing the back of the hand. And again, the same thing. Dantian rotation is like clockwise. And condensed. And the number of repetitions, again, is up to you. And again, I'll recommend that you start off easy and build up to whatever you want. Okay? Now, after that, we're going to go back to, excuse my back, we're going to go back to hitting the palm again. But this time, we're going to hit and rake. Okay, you get the idea? Then after that, we have another hand technique. This one is using, if you're familiar, is using brush knee. And uh, if you are a student of Tai Chi, you know what brush knee is. You know the different styles. I like to use the Sung style and their method of brush knee. So what I'm doing here is that I'm going to block. As I block, my hand is by my ear and I strike. Don't do, don't do this. This is, this is not an iron palm slap. Okay, you want to hit it. I know I'm not actually doing brush knee, but you get the idea. All right. Then after that, there is nothing. You just, you can, you can go back to the tree and meditate and relax and then finish up. Uh, one thing I didn't mention in the beginning, you always, 
you always have to use your jaw. Make sure that you apply enough for the hands and the forearms. As far as how many sets you want to do or however you want to break it down, again, uh, that's up to you. And that's pretty much what tree training is. I appreciate your time. If you have any questions, you see my email address at the bottom here. Uh, feel free to email me anytime. And I hope that uh, you'll take this tree training and maybe uh, spruce it up a little bit, have your own ideas of how to do tree training. And uh, I wish you well.